This is a movie where I saw the trailer and rolled my eyes. But was I rolling my eyes during the actual film? Let's find out. Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Food Tone reviewing Scrambled. What's about? Pretty simple premise. This girl's party and she's like, what? She's talking to like a 40-something year old and she's like, you're a fucking boss because you had a kid at 40 and you are successful, blah, blah, blah. And then she slaps the girl. She's like, you're 34? No, don't do this. You're making horrible decisions. Doing this at 40 was the worst decision of my life. And she's like, wait a minute, maybe I need to freeze my eggs or do something because all my friends have boyfriends or getting kids and I'm kind of just being in my whole phase right now. So will she have an epiphany? Or will she stay in that hoe phase? So, did I like this movie? Alright. Like I said in the beginning, I wasn't a fan of the trailer. I saw it and I was like, it's going to be stupid. But I watched this movie. It's actually pretty damn good. The writing is pretty hysterical. The acting is awesome. The actual message of the movie is pretty substantial to today's day and age of where we are at. Where there is a part of society that just thinks it's good to hook up with random dudes and it's vice versa too with dudes hooking up with random chicks and it's just not the right thing to do because you're just getting rid of that intimacy you are normalizing this hookup culture i've never been a fan of one night stands have i done it guilty but i've just never liked it at the very end because i'd like to get to know someone before doing stuff with them and so maybe that's why I'm more timid now. It's more of like, okay, let's do a couple of dates and see where this goes. And this is kind of the polar opposite of her just going after dude after dude after dude. But then realizing, hmm, all those dudes that I hooked up with or had relationships with, maybe it was a bad idea. Maybe I could get with them. And unfortunately, everyone she tries to get with from the past is probably already engaged, has a kid, gay maybe, or, you know, cop problems. But it goes through that territory of what is in your past and what is your future and how much time do you actually have left. So like I said, I think the smartest thing with this movie is the writing with what she is going through and everyone around her. The father, the mother, and the brother. There are from hysterical jokes, especially like she's like, I know mom, I'm 34 years old and I'm, my mom is Latino and I can't give kids. And I think that's hysterical. Because I won't lie, my mom is a nurse in Texas, and there are a lot of Latinas who are like 21 and already on their third kid. I, 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 <coughs> I don't know about the fertility, but it's a true thing. We're just like, damn, kid after kid after kid. It's just, it's, it's mad lad. It's mad lad behavior. So there are hysterical jokes like that where you're like, yeah, I've seen it in the real world. And of course, there are cringy stuff like hashtag feminism stuff in this movie. But I just think it's on the nose where we are at this today's day and age society where we are doing this hashtag feminism and independence where now females on TikTok, on Instagram are literally crying to the world saying, I screwed up, feminism screwed up with me. And I think the funniest one was a girl from, I think, California. And she's like, I'm a feminist, but I'm getting rid of that shit because of uh, she was going out with all the, like, let's say the guys with the nail polishes and the guys that with the you know, jeans that go up to like their calf and the, and just very feminine. And then she's like, okay, I'm going to go out with someone that is kind of manly man. And he gave her his credit card and said, go buy whatever you want. And she's like, oh, so this, this is, oh. And so it's like an epiphany where it's like, yes, women can be successful, but like, it's like, we are at the stage where it's like, I don't need a man in my life. It's like, well, you want to be lonely? Do you want to be have a body count over a hundred do you want to be an only fans person that's just not normal it's not it's not healthy it's not healthy but yeah i think the acting by the father is great the brother is great there's good dynamic there's true chemistry in this movie when it comes to the family i really enjoyed that and like i said the overall premise is really potent to what is happening in today's day and age with only fans and the hookup culture and it's not cool overall like I said, if I give some negative, I think some of the dialogue is a little cringy overall. And there are some things in the story where I'm like, okay, I would do things a little bit different there. But like I said, 
I'm not the writer, I'm not the actress, and I'm also not the director. And she is all three. So she had a vision, she wrote it, she acted it. So everything she did, she approved herself. And I would give a bravo to her for, you know, showing herself naked, doing some of those sex scenes, and doing things overall in this film. But like I said, scrambled, I went and going, oh God, I'm going to be on my phone in my movie theater. Even though I was by myself, I really wasn't on my phone. Guilty, I was on my phone checking some of my sports betting, which I did good on one of the four. I only do $20 a week, and if I just win one parlay, I double or triple my money. So pretty good. I saw Scrambled for free. But no, seriously, if you're thinking this trailer is shit, don't judge this movie by the trailer. Seriously. So Scrambled will receive a 4.5 out of 5 with food times. It was at 90%. Trust me, I'm shocked too. Let's see what the correction news scores gave this one. We're also with the critics, a 90% with 31 of them. Fewer than 50 audience score. There's no critic consensus. So yeah, we're at the 90s, people. Like, this is a really solid film. Chase Lock here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Blue Futon Topia. You Blue Futonians, thank for watching. Have a great day. And I don't care watch this take tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now. I'll every single freaking one of you. Shocked beyond belief.